Hello and welcome. Uh, in this lesson we are going to learn how to use Microsoft Word as required in ATD, computer applications and also in the Kenyan National Examinations Council computer applications. Welcome. We learn. Now the first thing that you see when you load Word uh, is the interface and it has the menu bar which opens various ribbons. Uh, if you click insert the ribbon and the buttons change. Uh, if you click design uh, different other things appear. We want to learn first of all how to use the interface and what each of these represents. We'll start with the home ribbon and then we shall continue with the others. The space in between here is the where you are going to put your document and you see the cursor blinking indicating where your margin starts. So from top, my document can, where the cursor is moving, there is one inch from the top and one inch from the left side and there is one inch on the right side. Fair enough, uh, we shall attempt our lesson or we shall use a sample document, minutes of a meeting and then we shall format and we learn together. So we will use um, maybe a type minutes of the Nakuru County uh, Mayor meeting held on 1st May 2022. The new right venue is Town Hall. Five PM then you write in attendance uh, Mr X Smith Mayor Miss Z Bold, 
satellite size 14. In attendance, again we select. If it is one sentence, you can move the cursor into the margin and then select like this. And then on the floating menu, you can choose the command bold. Uh, you can increase the font size. Now, if you want this bulleted or numbered, you select the entire list up to that. Then you can come here and choose the number, create a numbered list. Then absent with apology, highlight, make bold. Uh, then these ones, you uh, maybe there was only one absent with apology. Where there is a typo, uh, like agenda, I have typed M instead of N. There are two ways of correcting the error. You can click at the end of M, then press the backspace on your keyboard, then type the correct one. Backspace deletes to the left, delete erases to the right. So it's important to remember that. So that if I press delete, it will remove D. But if I press backspace, it will remove N. So that is the lesson that we have learned. Uh, so now, again, I make it bold. And maybe these are the agendas. I highlight again. And then I come here. I choose a number style. Maybe this time I choose a different number style. Uh, like this. Then that is the agenda. Now, that is how you work uh, in Word how you are able to edit your documents now I don't have time to type minute 1 maybe minute 1 2022 uh, reading and confirming minutes of previous meeting what I'll do I will use a random function in word is equals to rand i'll create five paragraphs of six lines each then i will be able to to use them in my in my lesson so once i type that it is created for me so i will name each of them as a minute so this maybe is minute two minute two for purposes of this lesson minute two 2022 uh, maybe that was has arising. Maybe minute three should start here. I press enter. Then I write minute three twenty twenty two. Uh, there's Christmas tree. Like that. Well, then now again to apply bullet, I can to apply bold, I can do bold can underline for purposes of this lesson. If you want to underline, bold, underline. I is for to italize. If I want this sentence to appear in italics, uh, I just select the entire of it, then I click I. So then the text appears in italics. Um, now, there is what we call the superscript and subscript. This one is subscript, this one is superscript. If in the document, maybe here we say that members agreed, maybe I just create a space. Uh, then we write members agreed that the Christmas tree be bought. that November 2022 being the 5th This one has become automatically superscripted, 23rd and 5th. But if I want this to be a superscript, uh, I select the 0, and then I come here and I click superscript. So that becomes 7 degrees Celsius. So that 
that is how you put the superscript or that is how this one works if it is a subscript uh, maybe you wanted to write 100 grams uh, then you want this to be a superscript then you can do the same then it looks like like that um, that is superscript so we've learned bold italics underline across through is where maybe you are proofreading somebody's work and you realize that some section you don't need so you can highlight it and strike through so that if somebody is reviewing then they can see that that one may not be uh, required so that is how we start uh, our word document uh, when you want to reduce the font size maybe this is too huge maybe it was weak increasing like this then you can reduce by clicking the decrease font size decrease font size you can change the font color uh, into a color that is your favorite or if it's a corporate color the colors that are used by your organization um, so you can always be able to, to apply the same um, like that so that that is our document and it had uh, started appearing as we see now the the bulleted the numbered list we, we use this we have not used bulleting if for example we wanted this to be bullets then you could select bullets then they change from numbers to bullets uh, and you can change again to, to to numbers that you want and if you press enter and you wanted maybe there is a short there is another subtitle under airport road repairs then you can press the tab key on your keyboard then it keeps changing the bullet type the bullet type so you can always change here yeah, road repairs so maybe we talk about the cost maybe the duration uh, then contractor assign contractor assign so now and uh, airport road repairs there are three items to be discussed in that so that is how uh, what works it is very easy uh, and it, it requires practice and we will allow the learners to try something we have uploaded some tasks task one up to 22 which you can be able to get in the model platform or in this uh, channel that can allow you to keep practicing in the next lesson we shall learn about um, page numbers and bullets page numbering but before that maybe one more important thing that is critical here is to do uh, justifying you can justify your text so that doesn't have the ragged ends on the right side so you click inside and then you click justify it justifies the entire paragraph if you see the first and the second paragraph uh, the justifications are different so the second paragraph this is center aligned the same thing we did on the title this one was center aligned this one was justified this center aligned we can make it right aligned like this uh, usually right alignment we use it if you want to, address, to, to do a letter and you want to have the addresses on the right side so thank you so much for watching uh, there will be another lesson after this uh, see you in a few